Hey guys, well today we're just out in the garage cleaning up and I uh, got another light to install above me. But uh, I had a few furs sitting around in the freezer, uh, kind of debating on what I wanted to do with them. And I've got a bottle of the Orange Trappers uh, tanning solution. And with the prices of beaver being as low as they are, uh, the average I think was going anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. And uh, that's not very good. Um, a lot of hoop beavers are going for you know 75 to 100 bucks and uh, to be honest I thought I would just like to make something out of them. My daughter uh, really likes wild fur. Um, when I get an animal she's always rubbing up on it so um, I thought that I would uh, tan a couple beavers, try the process out with that orange bottle, um, take these along and see what our results are. Um, I'm not looking for garment quality. I'm just looking for uh, something that's going to be preserved and uh, somewhat safe. I think uh, for the rugs, I'm just going to sew um, some felt to the back or uh, or some some sort of material to the back so that I can put them down on the floor. And uh, when the kids get up in the morning, they can step on a nice warm uh, beaver and uh, keep their feet warm in the winter. So. Um, Gonna try out a couple beavers. If the process uh, works all right, I've got a fox that I wanna do. Um, I forget what else I have in the freezer. So, But uh, we're gonna start with those two beaver and uh, go from there. So uh, I got two beaver out in a bucket of water. They're, uh, they were all dried, so they're like cardboard. I'm gonna put them in a bit of water, get them softened up, and then start the uh, steps Hey guys, well I just wanted to do a bit of a disclaimer on this. Um, just right off the bat, this is the first time I've ever tanned anything. Um, so some of the things I've done may be totally wrong. Um, I have done some more hides since I first did these ones. So just bear with me to the end of the video and I'll tell you some tips and things I've learned along the way to uh, make the whole tanning process a little bit easier. But uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's not very uh, challenging as far as uh, skills required to uh, get something that's pretty nice and uh, is going to last a long time. So, um, cheers, guys, and I hope you enjoy the videos. So, one thing I like to use when I'm skinning animals or working with uh, any hides is uh, some vapor barrier. You can buy a roll for uh, fairly inexpensive and uh, I think this is 108 inches, so it's got double a double layer and that covers my four feet. And I just cut it off and I uh, clamp it down. And it works really good for uh, protecting the surface so I don't get a bunch of blood stains and uh, fat and grease on my, uh, my work surface. It's uh, always handy. I use it as uh, tarp covers for firewood, um, covering up... Uh, Lumber that I've milled with my chainsaw mill. It's uh, let some sun get through, but uh, it, it really helps in drying and keeping things dry. So I like to use it. I got a roll in the corner and uh, I always have some handy. Alrighty, so it's, uh, the hide's been soaking in the water for uh, about three hours. It's, uh, pliable now so we're gonna start uh, putting some salt on it this is uh, iodized table salt supposedly it's a uh, no-no but that's what we're gonna use so gonna lay it down uh, pretty thick Rub it all in and then we'll put a bit more down.
So that's pretty much one box. Rubbing it in real good, rubbing it in all the, uh, where I sewed it up, the beaver legs, rubbing it in uh, everywhere I can, it a good scrub. Around the nose. Next time I'll leave the nose on and the lips. These are going to my kids so they're not going to really notice. I think that's pretty good. Scrubbed it in really good. I know my hands are uh, feeling it. Just going to grab uh, a bit more salt here. Looks like probably one and a half. There. Now we're just going to fold it up. I'm going to uh, put that in a container and uh, let it sit till tomorrow. All right, we're back in the garage. It's been uh, 24 hours since we salted our beaver hides for the first time. We're gonna pull them out of the garbage bin, uh, scrape off the old salt into uh, a pail because I'll dump that out in the bush let uh, the animals eat it up and uh, put some more salt on and then throw it back in the tub for another 24 hours so let's uh, get to the cleaning up part and uh, resalting
There. Well, it's been another 24 hours now since we uh, salted the hides for a second time. Now it's time to scrape all that salt off. We're going to give it a little bit of a rinse. Then we're going to mix up uh, half a gallon of salt, a uh, half a pound of salt per gallon of water, uh, hot water, so it mixes better. It doesn't have to be hot water. You can use uh, room temperature water. Basically, you just want that salt to dissolve into the water as good as, as, good as you can or until it's all dissolved. Um, and warm water is usually the easier way to do it. Uh, if you use cooler water or cold water, you just have to stir a little more. So um, I'll probably uh, rinse out my green uh, garbage can after I get the hides out. Just spray it all off just to make sure it's clean. And then I will um, weigh out um, probably... Well, one of those packets is basically two kilogram, um, two pounds, so that's four gallons of water. So I'll probably just do that. Makes it a little easier. I've got uh, a Culligan jug or a, a Natural Springs drinking water jug, the big blue ones. I'll probably just use that as my uh, water. I'll mix uh, mix it in there. Throw the hides in for about uh, six to eight hours. So right around supper time, I guess, I'll come back and uh, let them hang to dry for a bit. And uh, after that, then we can start applying the uh, hide tanning solution that's in the, uh, the orange uh, bottle. So let's get at uh, cleaning this up and get things sorted. <laughs> 